It's the 88 and sunny. We'll come back. I know, hopefully soon. <laughs> how are your How are your uh, your young young and new linebackers, Stefan, and, and your early goalie, um, doing now that you're about to practice? They they've been doing a really nice job. Um, you know the the older guys in the room. You know the you know Nick and Luke. Those guys last year and John. I think they set a really good standard in the room. Uh, so those those guys are doing a nice job right now, doing everything we ask, working hard, trying to get better every day. So they're doing a nice job. You seen you seen a <clears throat> increase in readiness from Stefan. Tony mentioned that he's now getting into getting into better shape and. Which ruled that it was a, a rocky transition for him um, early in the in the winter. What how have you seen his progression? I think I think he's getting better. Um, obviously, it was a, a transition for him to move here, be a part of this program. The culture kind of adjusts to everything, um, the way we do everything really, from the weight room, nutrition, sleep, study hall, literally everything. Um, so that was a transition for him, and um, he's he's working every day to get better at it, kind of understanding how we want to do things, and so. He's gotten better at it, learning how we practice, what our expectations are, what our standards are. So he's improving. With the uh, Jack linebackers, what's your impression of that group and maybe the progress that they've made so far? Yeah, this they, they've been doing a nice job so far. Uh, physical, working their butts off. Um, I, you know, I got nothing but good things to say about them. Obviously, every day the whole room is trying to get better. Uh, but they, they've been doing a nice job so far this, this spring. What about Vincent Shavers? I mean, the recruiting of him, you guys jumped on him kind of late. I mean, how, I want to say it's a surprise, but just how for him to come in this quickly when you really didn't have much of a chance to probably recruit him over the process, um, how how big of a surprise has this been for you guys? Yeah, it's it's been pretty cool. Um, I think Coach Coach Rule mentioned it the other day. You know, he's kind of the, the type of young man that you want on your team. You know, does everything right, works his tail off, the way he plays the game, um, just a lot of energy. Physical, flying to the ball, um, he he's what you want, and uh, so I feel I feel blessed that that he's on our team uh, for my sake and, and everyone else that that's a part of it. How quick did his recruiting process move for you? Because I mean, it was like literally like a week before signing day, pretty much. Yeah, it, it was quick. I mean, um, you know, we we went to see him, and it was like, hey, come come up to Nebraska, and he came on the OV and said, I'm coming to Nebraska, and and the rest was history from there. So it was a short period of time, and I'm, I'm glad he's here. <clears throat> Tony highlighted the bullet and said, you know, he's, he's just really playing fast right now. And there's a lot of confidence. What, yeah. what, have you seen him kind of take another step kind of based off of last year's, you know, performance? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, he transitioned from, from DB to linebacker last year and, and hasn't really played that position before. So he obviously had the opportunity to go through a season get as many reps as he did and, and get some confidence from playing the position. I think now just being an older guy, having some experience at the position, he's got a ton of confidence, and you know he, he's one of the leaders in that room. So it's been good to kind of see him play a little bit more free and kind of know exactly what to do, how to do it, now that he's done it, um, to gain some confidence. How have you seen him embrace that leadership role, especially with you know, two of the other old heads from last year that aren't yeah. here anymore? It, it's been cool to see because really last year, John transitioned to play linebacker, and so it was kind of new to him, even though he was an older guy. Um, and now you see him kind of take the – I laugh because I just see him and the young guys all in there together and John getting on him like, hey, what are you doing? Like, we just talked about this. And so he's kind of in that coaching role in a sense, but at the same time he's, he's obviously playing. So it's been cool to kind of see him take ownership of the room a little bit more um, than he did a year ago because obviously he's more comfortable. Coach Ruler, Tony mentioned with the spring league stuff, like all the assistants are – calling defenses and it, you know it can help you for the future yeah uh, how, how big a benefit is that to have a staff that works that way where you, you, you're calling some things and I'm sure Evan is and all the everything. yeah it's it's been a great experience for us I mean I go back and watch the tape and say to myself like man that was stupid like I, I shouldn't have called that and 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 have coach white give us some some reflection about hey why'd you do this why'd you call this and just kind of give us feedback because we haven't done that before, and, and that just helps you in the long run. You're like, man, you could evaluate yourself and be like, why'd you do it? Why'd you call it? You know, whatever the reasons may be. Um, so it, it's been it's been really good. I, a couple times I said to myself, like, man, that was that was dumb. But uh, you learn from it, just just like playing the game. You learn from your mistakes, and you try to get better at it, and so you don't 
make that same mistake. Could you do it in a game? Yeah, I mean, that's. I think that's the point now. It's like, hey, let's let's work on it, and so that you get better and better at it, and kind of fix your mistakes. And I guess it's one of those things you don't know until you do it, right? Like, you got to go out there and do it, and you're gonna make mistakes in the game too. And that's that's kind of how it is. What kind of a what kind of appreciation do you have that for Tony and, and Matt that they have put you? Younger assistants in a position to do things like that, that you know, can and that can benefit you long term. Yeah, no, I'm I'm thankful for it. I mean, it's it's been really good. We've never done that anywhere I've been with coach, so it's it's really cool because now we get the chance to grow even more. And Coach White kind of has that. I don't know what the right word is. Like he's the head coach now in a sense because now we're coordinators. So we're kind of the the chain of command a little bit changes. Um, so I, I've really enjoyed it. I thought it's been really good. You know, we'll talk about different things that we called, why we did it, and uh, it's been really beneficial. Thankful for it. Mackay, uh, <clears throat> Mackay Barry is one of those guys who maybe made a, a big jump last season. I mean, how did you evaluate his performance last year, and, and what does he bring into the room again this season? Yeah, so I think I think Mackay had the opportunity to, to step in. Last year was the first year he's really played, so he kind of gets that experience, that a little bit of what John did of, like, you know, he's been in the same position, but now he had the opportunity to play last year. He got some confidence. He's got a better understanding of of not only the scheme, but playing the game and how physical it is and everything that comes along with it. So um, Makai's been doing a nice job so far. Again, he, he's got to keep pushing himself every day. I got to push him every day, and, and we got to we got to continue to get better. With all the years you've worked with Coach Rule as a player and now as an assistant, I mean, what's maybe the biggest thing you understand now that maybe you didn't understand as a player? And, and what's the thing you've taken the most from Coach Rule when it comes to this game and coaching student athletes? Yeah, that, that's a good question. I think, I think just in general, like when you're a player, sometimes you don't have the maturity that you do as you get older. So, you know, I was a younger player. <clears throat> I was a sophomore when I played for Coach Rule, and it was only a season because I got injured. But I didn't really understand the why of a lot of things. And now as you get older, you're like, okay, that makes sense. Like we practice that way because it's gonna help us do this. Or we, we go to study hall every day, we go to our tutor to do this. Like, I think when you're younger, you don't really understand that. And as you get older, you have a sense of appreciation for it. And so now being a coach in the role, it's like, hey guys, these are all the mistakes that I made. These are all the reasons that, that we do it. And you know, when I was a player, I had the same thought process. Like we were all players before, so we kind of get it. And uh, it's just good from my from my perspective to kind of explain to them, hey, I've been in your shoes with coach, and this is the reasons why we're doing things. Um, so I think it's really beneficial. Seems like he he still will get after the assistants though, and still hold you guys to a high standard though. I mean, yeah. How much does that mean to you that he, that he expects high things out of you guys as well? No, it, it's great. I mean, that's that's the only way to do it. If if coach isn't hard on us, then like who who is? You know. So, I think once the players see that too, that the, he has the same standards and expectations for the coaches that he does with the players, and he, and even higher. Like, that's what it's all about. You know that that's why you come to work every day to push each other to, to make sure that we're all going for the common goal. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Stay warm. Yeah.